Well, she's well known for playing major roles on the big screen and the small screen all over the world. And now you can catch her playing Shakespeare's Lady Macbeth on stage. Here's Shaheen Khan in her own words describing the drama behind the latest Tara arts production. I think Macbeth in every culture resonates with that culture. Within the Asian, British Asian community, yeah, of course, you know, these extended families and the squabble inter sort of family squabbles, you know, who's got more money, there's all that that goes on, you know. And sometimes it does lead to murder as well. Stars, hide your fires. Let not light see my black and deep desires. Well, there you go. That is so true. Lady Macbeth resonates in every culture around the world. That's true, isn't it? Yep, absolutely. But this is the first time you've done Shakespeare. Yes. So how are you finding it? Because you're starting with a pretty big role. I know. It was really daunting when I was first offered it. I really wanted to just say no because the fear <laughs> and the vortex in my brain was just too frightening. But I thought, no, say yes, and then feel the fear after. And I'm so glad I did, because it's opened another world to me. And what, for me as an actress, is I've always, I always wanted to do Shakespeare, and of course everyone wants to do, every female wants to do Lady Macbeth. Um, but it was a little bit like, oh, you like, you know, you've climbed Wimbledon Hill, so will you climb Ev Everest tomorrow? <laughs> you know, it was a bit like that. Um, uh, and, and Lady Macbeth is a fascinating character because she's evil, we know she's evil, but she's also complex, isn't she? Yeah. I mean, interestingly enough, I've, I don't see her as evil because I think, I know so many people who do evil things, but they never think of themselves as evil, so I'm not playing her as evil. And for me, she's just a woman who's very ambitious, and also the way we've done it, I'm older than uh, Robert Mountford, who's playing my Macbeth. Yeah. Uh, so our story, because we've set it in a British Asian context in Britain today, we, we sort of looked at it as um, like a business family. And I was the older woman and, you know, she has lost a child as well. So I, wa I was interested in bringing that element into it as well. So it's not just she's pure evil. Actually, I should imagine that it translates very well into Asian communities because um, because they're very, in, in many respects, Asian business communities, business families, are very dynastic. So in fact, that's quite an easy stretch, isn't it? Yes, and in fact, you know, instead of it being like a regicide, we've made it into a, like a patricide. Um, it's the head of the family, it's an extended family. I mean, it, it blends, it sort of um, crosses over beautifully the story because we've just taken it and put it in this extended Asian family and you know I know so many including my own family where there have been you know um, ambitious people people feeling like they were left out or you know they should be running the, that family yeah. and which has actually led to you know um, brothers trying to kill each other yeah yeah so so now we've got the one of the most famous parts of um, of Macbeth are the three witches now there is a kind of departure there in this translation of Shakespeare isn't there tell me a little bit about well, that. well Jatinder Verma who directed it had this brilliant idea of using hijras which is a community in India who are of neither gender so they're not male or female they are like tr transsexuals transgender castrati and they're this third gender which actually are only recognized legally in Germany and, Brit uh, yeah. and Germany and India and uh, he had this brilliant idea because they resonate with us um, they prophesy uh, they can be quite mischievous they're they're like Bollywood drag queens in a way and, that, they, and that's how they're dressed that's yes, their costumes that's right, are, yeah. they are in drag. And, and they're very in your face as well they can be terrifying I've come across them in a park in Delhi uh, early one morning and there was a young couple um, 
on a bench and suddenly these three hijras came across and they're quite manly but dressed in these very feminine clothes. Oh, that is clothes. quite frightening. Yeah. yeah, and they surrounded them, you know, and so they, they extort money from people. They will then, um, you know, either bless you or curse you depending on what you give them. And, and, if, the, and the important thing is that they live on the margins of society yeah. and that is the common denominator with the witches That's in, right. in Macbeth. Yeah, and I think it was great because we found a, a relevant, um, you know, because we were trying to think, the witches, who are, the, who are these people, who people will be afraid of? And in our culture, certainly there is that element of these people, you know, you give them money at weddings when they just turn up because you don't want them a curse from them because it could come true. Yeah, yeah. And therefore, when Macbeth meets them, you know, he has yeah. this past uh, resonance of these hijras in his life. I mean, it's good to see how this translates against an Asian backdrop because, I mean, it, 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 it just opens the whole world up to actors of African backgrounds, Asian yeah. backgrounds, you know, the Chinese. It's a wonderful thing. Well, the thing doing. is, I mean, Shakespeare, you know, he he crosses because it's such a universe. His yeah. stories are so universal about love, ambition, treachery, whatever. And um, I think they cross to any culture. So where are you when where are you opening? What's we're, the... we're, we've opened and we've been up and down the country, f yeah. you know. Uh, so and how's it all been going? It's been going really, really well. And what excites me about this whole Black Life Theatre is that they their idea is to take, um, you know, culturally diverse programming into the regions. And people, we have Q and A's afterwards, and people have really thoroughly enjoyed like a new revamp for them. You know, a lot of people have seen a lot of. Shakespeare and lots of versions of Macbeth and for them this is such a refreshing new spin on it. And that's very helpful for the audience to be able to do the kind of Q&A either before or after. With Shakespeare that's a very very helpful thing to do because sometimes particularly young kids at school for example they're quite disturbed by the by the language yes. but actually the ideas are still oh. as fresh and as modern as when Shakespeare first wrote the plays. One of the joys has been to hear young kids you know who've been in the audiences coming for the matinees um, how they've really enjoyed the movement uh, the music the language the story and the whole new spin on it and you know one of my favorite bits was a mother had brought these two kids of hers and her version of seeing Macbeth with the witches was so different from how her kids have now been introduced to Macbeth with the witches being quite mischievous and whereas her version was being very very frightened by them sure um, their version is quite different yeah that's true but someone off some some people are quite frightened by you. you've had members in the audience who've been very frightened by you, yes in, you? in fact I was really surprised because in Margate you know one of the women came up to me and she was chatting away and then she said actually I'm not sure I want to be speaking <laughs> to you you're so evil <laughs> and I said to her you know I never I've never thought of Lady Macbeth as evil Ever in my playing of it, I'm just very ambitious, and I also think you know her, she's an older Lady Macbeth, and she's lost a child, and there's a lot of complex stuff going on there, and uh, she wants you know she wants the crown for her husband. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> you know, I mean, we all understand ambition, don't we? So I guess that that's, that's right, and it helps us. You know, we'd I, all like to elbow a few people out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's happened to us all from time to time. I know. Well, Shaheen Khan, thank you so much for joining me. Here. I'll definitely make an effort to try and catch a performance. Great.